For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about how we are going to configure a slave or the secondary DNS configuration. Like we have seen that how we have configured the primary DNS um, installation and configuration and um, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 or the CentOS 7, the same configuration. So we are going to see now is that how we are going to change this configure the slave DNS in case of primary play fails and we can make this um, uh, slave as an a primary so that um, redundant DNS service would be available for us to uh, resolve any um, DNS related issues some like share comment and subscribe primary DNS goes down we can bring down the secondary DNS as a primary DNS so that it works as a disaster recovery stuff so in order to do that what you have to do so first of all uh, you have to in primary DNS in the sense the uh, master DNS configuration you have to edit uh, name dot configuration file okay and say over here so first of all you have to add this entry over here allow transfer and uh, localhost and add uh, this uh, secondary dns server ip address and uh, so rec recursion is no and uh, dns sec is enabled and uh, here this name dot rfc jones will file will be included over here now to restart the named service and uh, verify the named service how it is working okay so restart it and verify the status so now name name configuration on the primary is working fine now we have to jump into the slave configuration so slave server over here now you have to install the bind packages install bind packages over here the packages get installed now go ahead and uh, edit name dot configuration file over here so here in the listening port 53 and add this uh, uh, slave dns server address 2.49 in this case and um, query maybe you can put any or you can maybe put the range of the uh, ip series which you would like to resolve and uh, recursion should be no okay maybe you can delete these lines to it comes over here little bit easy to understand okay the dnsx is equal to yes and um, just here i'm just going to disable this key because um, this key sometimes gives me an error not able to do uh, modifications so now edit slash etc named dot rfc one in one two zones so here i'm just going to delete all the lines to clear it up so this is also not required for us and uh, this is also not required for us only two records okay so only two records we are going to add over here so here just going to make this configuration add this uh, domain name over here and the type is slave records we have to add so in this forward or reverse lookup zone we are not going to add any manual records over here they would be replicated or the uh, sent from the server itself okay take arkit for dot zone and here there's no allow updates it should be from 
masters okay wherever the master server ip address you have to provide over here this is the master server ip address 2.43 master dns server ip address and here write the ip address in reverse way and type is slave again and reverse lookup zone file name slaves slash take erk80 dot rev dot zone and uh, here master's ip address 192.168.2.43 and uh, no updates actually it gets the update from the master the master will update the record and the same records will be replicated over here so this is the reference configuration in the sense the zone configuration we have to make it on the slave side so first of all we have to go to name.configuration file on the slave side and uh, add this configuration so let the listening port here you have to add your uh, slave dns ip address and uh, here allow query equal to any and recursion equal to no and in the reference rc so we have to add this um, slaves configuration for the forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone configuration now what you have to do is that we have to go to slash etc slash resolve dot configuration file and here add uh, our dns server entries So here what I'm going to do is that 2.43, 2.49 is our name servers. Enter it. Now system CTL start named. For any record has errors, you can simply verify using this slash yes has been named iphone check config check conf iphone z slash etc name dot configuration file you can see that if nothing is there nothing is there over here no errors then that should be okay okay here and see slash var named slaves so the files will be replicated from the a master server from from here so maybe you can go ahead and see that whether it is working fine or not server dot uh, tech erk it dot local so you can see that now our records are getting replicated you are getting re recorded are they resolved using this server dot tech erk -t. the dns is working fine and our both the records both the records are getting from the this server see this answer you get from this slave server and additional section you get it from the master server okay the server you get the reply from over here or maybe you can use ns lookup and say uh, 192.168.2.43 so you can see that it's working fine and you can see that uh, 49 is also working fine maybe you can add uh, name configuration over here whether it is working or not okay it is working and uh, you may check that uh, server record the server record also is working fine which means that our slave configuration is successfully configured and it is working fine as expected that's about it guys configuring the uh, master and slave dns configuration so this is how we can configure the dns for the slave so maybe if you want to verify this um, by adding the record you can add to the one more record on the master and come come back over here and see that uh, the record would be updated on the slave that's about it guys for slave dns configuration thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.